This game is called Depanner Nocturne. Depanner Nocturne? Something like that. As you can see, it's uh, we're outside this random shop in France. Lotto, 7-7. Seven, seven. Depanner Nocturne. Vin, cidre, beer. Drinks. She sells all sorts of stuff in this shop, as you'll soon find out. Uh, yes, it is there. Good. Depanner Nocturne. That's the game. So this game is, I think, in French and English. I think you kind of get to choose which as you're playing. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you what the game's about. So you go into this random shop looking for a gift. It's the only shop that's open. What will you find? Things. The precious things of the shop, no? Uh, bar Barrel Boys. Bit of a fence broke that that place is just dark broken pallets wooden pallets three hands with eyes i don't know what they are i don't know what they are like surveillance everywhere who's this like a weird fox person it looks like oh and that's the shop we're looking at in, at the start of the game Rue Barre Travaux, so no uh, no way forward there. Just pipes, exposed pipes down there. And at the other end of the road, the same thing. But this shop is available. There's a tyre. Someone took the bike, left the tyre. Unsurprisingly. Ouvert. Securibu. It's an owl. A little heart. And this is the shop. Bonsoir. I'm going to say good evening. Don't be shy. Come over here where I can see you. Okay, I'll come over in a minute. I want to see what's in the shop first, if that's all right. Notice board. I mean, shiny hands. I can't do anything with that just now. It's like a gumball machine type thing. Coffee. I don't think we can do anything until we've spoken to that person. There's a coin that we can have. Pavillon de Rêve, 1997. Chauffeur. I don't know if this is all real brands or... There's another coin. Got a cash machine that doesn't work. Oh, there's another coin. Shiny coin. Shiny coin. There's a cat, look. Alright, alright, bud, how's it going? Purring away, quite quite the thing. Need a key to get in that door. Pastries. Cakes, whatever they are. Weird face thing. Odd little guy thing, a film. Oh, there's another coin. Got four coins. Right, let's go and chat to the person in the shop just now. Welcome, she says. I have a feeling you're looking for something specific. Uh, that's right. My partner's been working a lot of late nights, so I want to surprise her with something when she gets home. We're new around here, and yours was the only place I could find that was still open. Oh, how sweet. I'll ignore how you just implied you're only visiting my fine establishment out of desperation. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Your place really does look nice. Hey, no problem. I was only teasing you. It's like a weird bird person. Anyway, I've got baking soda, paper towels, crackers. But I also have some unusual things on my shelves that might make good gifts. Go ahead and browse. Just bring over anything you're curious about and I'll tell you about it. With the roadworks outside, nobody's coming by anyway. I'm not exactly busy. Thank you. Hey, what's this? Help yourself to the tarts. They're stale. I haven't done anyone by in hours. All right, can I have some stale cakes? That's nice. Thank you very much. Snowy munch. There you go. Aye, oi, you were hungry. Yeah, I, I, I was quite hungry. What's this book? Can I have this? It's my black journal. Write the names of rude customers in there so I can put curses on them later. Okay, I'm joking. It's just an inventory list. Okay, fine. 
Very nice. Can I buy this uh, spray bottle? This mug? Can't do anything with that. Can't go in there. Just milk. Spray bottle again. A box. A commemorative poster from the 1997 Dream Pavilion. I've heard you had to be there to really get it. Savory chauffeuse. Have it hot. Chauffeuse? Chauffeu? I don't know. Oh, the coffee's complimentary. Have yourself. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Put the cup there, then. Pop the thing back. Stick that there. Grab a lid. Stick it on the cup. Have a cup of coffee. Just throw it around if you want. Look. In the bin. That's where it's supposed to go if you're getting rid of it. What's this? Cardboard boxes on the floor. Must be wet outside. Uh, we can use our coins in here, I think. Let's just see what else we can get. Do I have to, like, take this? I think I need to take this to the person before I can do another one. That's an orchard doll. So little figurines are handmade by artists in the orchard region. Every one of them's unique. They each represent a different minor deity in the always growing orchard pantheon. I'll oh, put this in a bag for you. Uh, yes, please. Why not? You keep looking around. Let me know when you're finished. Sure. I'll do that. But first, I want to get these. If any, if any different ones pop out, do they? It looks like the same thing to me. Oops, kind of clumsy, huh? Yeah, a little bit. It's an orchard doll. Should I tell you about it again? No thanks. Oh yeah, why not? I'm going to do one more and just see if if it's any different, because that looked exactly the same to me. I've got one coin left after this. No, that's a different one. So we can maybe find some more coins and get the rest. Orchard doll. Orchard doll should tell you about it again. No, thank you. Do you want this in a bag? Yes, please. Next, we'll do the last one that we can get then. Does that actually dwindle down, or is it... No. But that one's different again from the one we got last time. So here we go. Orchard doll, tell again. No, thank you. Put it in a bag. Yes. So we've got four random little things. Uh, that's out of... As you can see, the poor Grisha has a fever. Technology always seems to do strange things around me. Don't know what it is. It must be strange. Oh, there's a lamp. Let's just get everything. An inspection lantern. Standard issue lantern for Metro Inspectors has gone off the screen. I found this one in the sub-basement when we had some of the old pipes replaced. It's constantly flickering. I can't figure out how to turn it off, but I've had it for ages. I guess the battery life's good. Do you want to buy it? Yeah, sure. I'll bag that and add it to your total. 890 Didn't cost very much. I don't know what the other things cost. Doing nothing. The cat keeps moving around. It is still there. Okay. Uh, what else is around that we can actually pick up? That's just random stuff. All that stuff there. Some clothes on a rack. Pants. Can't buy any of the clothes though. Oh, can I buy that? I'll buy that. For a dollar. A salamander coat. Fine jacket. From salamander hair. Salamanders have hair? Totally fireproof. When I was a student, I cut my hair short every summer. Sold it to weavers in the fashion district to make garments like this. It's an easy way for a poor salamander to make money. Do you want to buy it? Uh, yeah. Bag that added to your total. Oh, that just added, like, what? 20 quid on? 20 pound? 20 euros? We're in France, right? So, can I buy any of the other stuff here? More t-shirts. No, okay. Only one item of clothing. Oh, hello. Looks like a Jason Voorhees style mask. Only with a weird triangular bit in the middle. An armoured mask. This will keep your snout safe. Or I guess it might make a good costume. So my great aunt, she used to be the captain of the city's first women's sled jousting team. Doesn't have any sentimental value though. She had lots of them last me to get rid of her old stuff. Do you want to buy it? Yes, please. I'm going to be having a lot of money here in a minute. Look, 4490. Uh, what else is there? Anything else of interest? Some sort of bottle. Hmm. 
Nothing much there, is there? Can we get any of this? No. It's just like a random game where you just go in a shop and buy up a load of stuff. What about this thing? I might just buy everything and then... This is the best of Yandrew Queen. Notorious urban planner. Either a hero or a villain, depending on which side of downtown you live in. Okay. Keep seeing these people's windowsills, but I think they're putting them there ironically. Seems like you're struggling to find the perfect gift, only... I noticed she brought me the most unusual objects from the shelves. Well, I have an idea. I can help you out. Practice divination based on objects. I think even inanimate things have a destiny somewhere they're supposed to end up. Try to shepherd these objects to their intended owners. Don't get much opportunity to practice it these days, but maybe I can help. Are you interested? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Alright, I have a room in the back with some of the stranger objects I've collected. Doors in the back of the fridge. It's through there. Come around and I'll unlock it. As for that, do you want to buy it? Yes. Just going to buy your whole shop's uh, stock. There's cats up there now. Okay. Well, there's a DVD. Can we have the DVD? Improbable Excursion. My little sister has a role with a single line in this. She got me 50 copies. I've got some cute moments, but I wouldn't say it's laugh out loud funny. Also, a terrible curse will before you five days after watching it. Just kidding. Or am I? Do you want to buy it? Yeah. I'm all up for curses. Bag it and add it to your total. If you've got like loads of copies that you're not selling, you could have just given me it for nothing. Just the rubbish film that her sister was in. Oh. I see the cat. There he is. Hello. Just give the cat a wee stroke. Hmm. What's that? I can pick that up. Oh no! Can't pick that. Can't do anything with that though. Let's buy this. Give me this stuff. Get the door open. I want to buy. Give me this stuff. What is it? A bottle of mushroom milk. She drinks it straight, but it's an acquired taste. It's earthy. It's mushroom milk. She puts it in her coffee. Uh, yeah, okay. You didn't put it in the coffee up there, did you? We're at 63 now. Everything just for somebody else. Okay, what's this? Beer. Other stuff. Other stuff. Nothing of interest there. Can I take the slippy floor sign? Oh, what's that? Is that a turnip? Can I buy turnips in this shop? Let's have a wee turnip in the shop. It is late at night on that clock. That's a turnip! Yeah, I know what a turnip is. I got that one three years ago. It hasn't aged a day. I think it must be haunted. It would make a great suit. Do you want to buy it? Yes, I bloody do. I'm going to buy everything in your shop because you're the only shop that's open. I don't really know what's, what's the ultimate goal here. But there's a room we're supposed to go to this way, right? It says it's in the back of the fridge, so there's the fridge. And there's the weird door. Filing cabinets. Oh, those are strange, yeah. Strange filing cabinets. There's a wee office. You see the whole shop from here and somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Vintage data protection charm. I wonder if it still works. It's a floppy disk. Is that the door to the, to the back of the counter? Filing cabinets. What's this? Bunch of snapshots. Previous visitors, maybe. Maybe. It's a little weird. Oh, hello. Ah, you've arrived. Did she get changed just to show me this? Welcome to my collection. What have we got here? That's my grandpa on my mum's side and his dance team. Is it? All right. Who's that? Her and her little sister? Okay. Probably guess who that is. I was such a dork. Who's this? That's her grandma. She was the real witch in the family. That's her parents, taken before she was born. Aren't they adorable? Well, they're, they're, they're people. That's his, that's her granddad from his father's her father's side. In front of the family homestead. How nice. Well, let's look at all these pictures first. Onus, the goddess of interiors, time and the cosmos. Oh, lovely. Who's this? Agramona, the goddess of romance, family, and generosity. Oh, is it? Okay. This is Loster, the goddess of loot, influence, and good deals. Who's that one? Vala, the goddess of discipline, courage, and daring. Thedule, the goddess of music, drugs, and celebration. 
and Beb, goddess of luck, poverty and random fortune. So let's have a look at these things. Uh, it looks like we maybe have to speak before we can look at the things. The precious things of the shop. Here's what I'm thinking. All these objects are adrift in the world. Looking for their owner, I can tell that one of them's meant for your partner. Bring me anything from this collection, I can tell you about it. But you have to be the one to make the decision about whether it's the right one. Okay. Well, tell me about this knife. I don't want to get, bring someone a knife, to be honest. A bully knife. A classic one. Neighbourhood toughs used to strut around with these tucked into their sashes. Just for show, and the blade is dulled. The important part is the look of the hilt. Some old timers still carry them. These days they go for the fancy ones with blades made out of quartz or ceramic. Lovely. Pop that back. What's this? The jeweled chalice. Originally meant for a honey pouring ritual. Fully blessed and warded. It's a nice solid cup. She's made root beer float so that now you've used this cup. Who? Why are you selling me your used crap? And what's that thing? Ah, the skull of Yurn. We don't really know who she was. Only that she left very specific instructions that her bones should end up somewhere cool. If you think you know a good place for this, I'm willing to entrust you with it. Lovely. I can only pick one of these items, though, she said. Uh, what about that? What's that thing? It's an orb. The habitat orb. There's a little worm. -b. Worm? -b? In there. Peacefully dreaming. It's very rejuvenating to be near a creature that's so comfortable. The ball's a closed system with its own atmosphere. The worm has such a small, slow metabolism that it will sleep in there for years. Oh, nice. Longevity. Or some some crap like that. Now this is like a weird... Oh, well, it's like a donkey with fish stuck to it? A votive animal figure. It depicts a benevolent four-legged mammal bearing a gift of fish. When good luck comes your way, you're meant to throw a figure like this into the bog. It's a thank you gift for the wild spirits. Is it? But you just throw it away. In the bog. I don't think she means toilet. The precious big egg. It's a beautiful egg from an unknown mother. Maybe a cockatrice. The seal prevents it from hatching indefinitely. If you chose to remove the seal and incubate it, you could find out what's waiting to hatch. Of course, you'd have to feel confident you could take good care of whatever's in there. Now, what if it's a dinosaur? Well, now you're familiar with everything in the collection. If you choose one thing from here to take home with you, what would it be? Let the object speak to you. Let me just check something. Wait. No, it is there. Sorry, I was just checking my my stream details there to make sure they were that everything was running okay. Okay, so now we've got to decide what object we want to take. I actually think this thing looks kind of cute. Give it to your partner or whatever. Vote of animal figure. Very interesting. Should I tell you about it again? Or is this your gift? Uh, yeah, that's my gift. Why not? This is what you want. I want you to be certain. Yeah, why not? Hmm. All right, I believe you. It's done. This is yours now. You made an interesting choice. Both of animals represent thankfulness and acceptance of fate and giving back proportional to what one has. Maybe you'd like to express gratitude to your partner, or maybe you've had some stroke of good fortune to be thankful for. I don't know, maybe coming in this shop. I'm really happy I've been able to practice my craft. One more thing we have to do. Hold on a moment. I like to keep a record of people I've helped. This is the photographs. Ready for your portrait? Smile. Ah. A successful expedition. Back to the apartment. I think she'll like this. What if she hates it? She's like a deer. Hello, my bichette. Welcome back, creature. Long night, huh? I get called creature. I actually got home before you did for once. Oh, what's this? You brought me something. What weird little dolls. They're cute. I love them. Oh, I've seen these before. They're all different, right? I'm going to name this one Button. You got me. A turnip? That's nice. We can make soup out of it. It looks pretty huge, actually. Oh, some mushroom milk. I haven't had that in ages. I think it's really tasty, though. What else? A movie. I've never heard of this one. It looks sort of ridiculous. Want to watch it tonight? Yeah. You really got a bunch, huh? Who's this guy? Looks like some kind of official. It'll look great in my porcelain head collection. So she has a porcelain head collection. Amazing. You went all out. Nice looking lantern there. We could go exploring with this. If you get it to stop flickering. This is so much. A very fine coat. It's really soft. That'll keep me warm this winter. Huh. 
buy everything, buy every item in the shop. Wow, this is very generous. But where on earth did you find all this stuff? And how much did you spend? You're funny, Chaton. Chaton? I don't know. Looks pretty cool, actually. I appreciate you think I need extra protection. Haha. -ha. Looks like a duck mask. And something else. Whoa, something special. A little dog, and he's bringing me fish. There we go. That's the special gift. Don't know what's so special about it, but, you know. I swear I'm going to send you into the bog one day. I don't need to go to the toilet right now. Just as soon as I get that raise. So for now, get comfortable, I guess. Anyway, thank you so much. But you really didn't need to get me anything. Just a hug. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, there you go. So I bought all that crap out of the shop. That's not all crap. I'm lying, it totally is. We just bought the entire shop's stock. Is that, the, is that all this game's about? Oh no, wait. There's more. Or is this the end? The beginning? The title screen again? Yeah, it is. So yeah, that was... Uh, that... <laughs> Depaneur, de, de Paneur, de Paneur Nocturne. I'm not going to try and em embarrass myself or insult people with my terrible accents. But that was it, yeah, that was that game. Uh, and we could do with one more.